Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to make this sign. Super cool, super easy to do. You make a little extra money on your CNC, especially around the holidays. People like this around Christmas time or Thanksgiving or, you know, those warm and fuzzy holidays. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to our settings. Now, the board that we used was an 8 inch. Uh, the width was 8 inch and then it was 24 inches long. On the stock thickness, you're looking at about three quarters of an inch. So you would just type that in right there, 0.75, which is already there. But we'll just do it, 0.75, we'll hit enter. We'll just hit, and let me move myself out of the way here. We'll just hit OK. And that's going to give us our thickness, our width, our length, everything we need. So let's go back into that. So you can see that we're using the Shea Poco XXL. We're using soft wood. We're going to use pine. Again, it's three quarters of an inch wide or thick, uh, about eight inches wide, 24 inches long. So the soft wood is what we would be using, not the MDF, not metal, not plastic, none of that. The retract height, we're going to set this at five because we do not want our CNC, the router, to go up real far and then travel and then come down real far because it takes too long. So we'll just set that at five. And that's all we have to do in this screen right here. So we're just going to hit OK, and we are already set up for our board. See, it's already going easy. And before we move on to the next step, let me just show you real quick here again the width. If your board was, say, 9 inches, you would type in 9 right here. If your height was 20 inches, we would just type it in like that. That's all you have to do, and then you can see that will change when we hit OK. You can see that changes that. If I hit Control Z, it just brings it back. So if your board is a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, a little bit wider than what we're doing here, that's fine. You can change those settings right up on top like we just did there. All right, so now we have to set up our text. And yeah, we are using the Carbide Create right here. So you know, if you're using the Shea Poco, this is probably what you're using, especially for beginners. Um, it's pretty nice software, pretty simple to use. But we need to go over and hit the text. So we're going to left click on that and it's going to open it up so now what we need to do is we need to make an H right so we're going to put H we're not going to put an O we're going to put the wreath right there where the O should be the M and then the E so we're going to go capital H and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find times Roman numeral I think it is or times Roman or whatever it's called let me see here it's the one that looks the best so times new Roman, we're going to go regular. We're going to change that. And then we need to scale this up. So how to scale this up, we're going to put in a 5 and hit enter. And we're just going to bring this up here and see how it looks. And I think that looks pretty good. We don't want this crazy big. We don't want it to take over all of the wood. We just want that H to sort of sit in the middle. We'll line everything up, not a big deal. Uh, but then what we need to do is hit control C. And what control C does is it basically copies it so control C and we're gonna bring that down and we have to change this to the M alright so now that we got two H's we need to change these up so I'm gonna left click on that H we're gonna change this to a capital M we're gonna hit apply and then we're going to hit control C again click on that control C bring that down again don't worry about these being lined up we're not worried about that yet we're gonna click off click on it again and we're going to make a capital E and then hit apply. Now, sometimes you can see how big this thing got, this E. Look how much bigger that is. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does. So we got to go back and adjust these. So the H was a 5, the width. And if you change the width, the height's going to change automatically. Don't worry about changing all that. But we're going to hit 5 and we're going to hit apply. And then you see it looks a little too small. So we're going to have to bring this up to maybe a 5.2. You just want to make it look... You just want to make it look like it matches up. So 5.2, let's try that again, hit enter. Okay, and I think we're good there. And now what we need to do is change this E. So we're going to click on that. We're going to bring this up here. We're going to put 5. We'll just see what it does. Sometimes you have to do it twice. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. Bring it up, and I think that looks, uh, we'll go 5.2. 5.2, we'll hit apply. You see it changes it by itself. 5.2, hit apply, and I think we're good with that. So now we're going to bring this down here. We're going to bring this down here, and we have our, eh, it's still a little bit too big. We're going to bring this down to just a 5. Apply. Why do you do that? Hit apply. Okay. 
I think that's better. It just looked too big. So now we need to bring our wreath in here. And that's a pretty easy setup. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, now we are in Inkscape. I-N-K, Inkscape, free. You can download it to the program or your files or whatever you want to do. Uh, but let me show you this here. We downloaded a picture of a wreath. It doesn't matter what picture it is online, Google. You just save it. You take it. You left click and then you drag it and drop it right into the Inkscape and then you just hit OK. So what's going to happen is it's going to get really big. This picture here, sometimes they're smaller, sometimes they're bigger. It doesn't really matter. But what we need to do is create a path, a trace bitmap. So we're going to click this. And then we're going to hit, it can be brightness cutoff, edge detection. We're going to do brightness cutoff and we're going to hit update. And when we hit update, we'll just hit OK. And then once we do that, this is going to create a bit trace, right? So it's going to actually trace this right here, which makes it really simple for the CNC to follow. And you can see there's two pictures here now. We don't need this one anymore, so we're just going to click it, delete it, and we can drag this one back over. We'll hit file, we're going to hit save as, and then we'll hit uh, wreath, and we're not going to name it wreath, i got too many wreaths. Um, we'll go bit one. So we're going to say desktop, save it, and that's all you need to do with the Inkscape. Alright, so now that we have that saved, it is time to bring it, I know, I keep jumping around on you down here. We're going to upload this into our design and how you do that is we're going to click that little down arrow right and we're going to look for the bit one that we saved so we're going to go uh, b1 and there it is it's the f or svg file we're going to hit open and a little bit too big so first thing we're going to do is group the elements we're going to hit done and then we're going to bring this down so we're going to come over here to our size we're going to hit that way too big let's put that at five somewhere where we were at with the other stuff and eh, it could be a little bit bigger so we're going to left click that again let's go uh, 5.5 and we'll hit apply okay i think that looks a little bit better so now i still think that e looks too big we're going to go 4.4.75 4 so that's four and three quarters we're going to hit apply 4.75 we'll hit apply okay I, I just think that it's still a little bit too big we're gonna bring this down here and we're gonna bring this you can see that everything is grouped together if we did not hit group or select all one piece would go here one piece would go here it wouldn't drag all together so you're gonna find where it looks good when it comes to spacing and now what we need to do we need to line everything up and even though it looks pretty good we just want to make sure so I'm gonna left click I'm gonna drag all of that down and then I'm going to go to the alignment tools and check this out there you go and it lines everything up perfectly and now we are ready to create our paths so this is the fun part this is the part that I always enjoy doing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to tool path and we're gonna make two of them okay one for the H, the M, and the E, and then one for the wreath. So what we're going to do here is we're going to left click the H, we're going to hit control, left click the M, left click the E with the control held down, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to hit contour. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can go outside left, we can go outside right, no offset, we can do a V carve, and I'll show you that here in a bit. I'm not a fan of the V carve for this, but what we're going to do is we're going to go pocket okay so that pocket is going to start cutting out all of the insides of these letters but before we even start doing that we have to go to edit and make sure that we have the right bit now the bit that we're going to use for this we are going to use the 112 and it's a 0 0.063 so it's basically a sixteenth of an inch bit we're going to click that depth per pass we're going to keep that at 10. We're going to click this little arrow, check that off right there. Step over is fine. We have to bump up our feed rates because if you don't bump these up, this thing will take forever to do. So we're going to move this to a 75.066 and then we'll just throw a, I usually just go with 25 and that's the plunge rate. That's how fast your router is going to go up and down. We don't want it to go like this. We want it to go like this, but we don't want it to go crazy. So we're going to hit OK. We're good with that. We're going to go OK. How deep do we want this? Well, the start depth here, we're going to start this out at 10. So it's going to be 0 0.010. And then the max depth 
that is way too deep for this. We do not need that anywhere near 3.94. It's over a quarter of an inch. We don't need it. So how far deep do I go with these? Well, it depends on really what you're looking for, but I am not going to go any deeper than probably 0 0.090. That's it. And then what we're going to do now, I'm going to move myself over here. We're going to hit name. We're going to click that. We're going to say um, path one. That's going to be path one. All right. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and take a look at our show simulation. Now, you're not going to see anything for the reads because we did not create a tool path for that yet. So we're going to go show simulation and we're going to click off this we're going to click off that and we're going to change this to pine and now i'm going to left click and drag this and i'm going to zoom it in with my mouse wheel and that's all the deeper is going to be so i think that is fine that is what that carving will look like and it looks pretty good and i think everything's lined up all right so now what we need to do is create our wreath pretty simple to do we're going to hide simulation so now that we have our path one, we're going to come over here. We're going to click this and you can see sometimes they, I don't know, they don't want to work with me. They sometimes, I don't know, disconnect from each other. So let's do that again. Let's click this. It's not a big deal. We'll click that and see if that works. Okay. So now it's all one piece. If not, we could just drag the left, select them all, and it's still going to make the same path. So we're going to get a tool path here. We're going to, going to go to the contour again. We're going to create a second tool path. Now, when we make this second path here, we're going to have to change out the bit. We can't use the same bit because the one we're using for the home is a little bit too big. So we're going to go back to the edit, and it's not going to change anything here with what you've already done. It's only going to do what we selected. So we're going to click down on this, and then we are going to bring it to a 122 end okay the depth for pass we're going to go four uh so it's 0 0.004 we're not going to change that step over we're not going to change change that uh what we do have to change is this right here we're going to bump this feed rate up to about eh, we'll go 50 because we don't want it to go crazy because it is a little bit more fine you know the details a little finer we don't want to mess it up so we don't want it to go way too fast and we can adjust that speed but we're just going to keep it lower and then the plunge we'll, we'll just keep it 20. so we're going to hit okay here and then we have to go back and change our start depth so our start depth we don't want to go too deep this bit is very very fine very very small so we're gonna we're gonna keep that at a four and for this wreath we really do not want to go down far at all for this wreath because the the detail is so fine on this that if if you start digging down real far, it's going to start busting things off. So we're going to keep this at a 0 0.030. That's it. And then we're going to hit pocket. And when you hit pocket, be tool path 2. That's fine. We'll just keep it there. And uh, we're going to hit OK. So now what's going to happen is this will turn blue just like the H, the M, and the E. And now if I move myself over, get out of the way, we're going to go, we're going to click off this, we're going to click off that, we're going to go to Pine again, and we're going to go to Show Simulation, and we should have everything ready to go here. Now all it's going to do is build, and when it's done building, that's it. So check that out. I still think that that's a little too deep. You can see these little pieces right here and right here. And all those pieces are going to bust out. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to hide uh, simulation. We're going to go back to the tool path. See, the max depth changed on me for some reason. That's why. Um, maybe I didn't hit save or didn't hit OK. Uh, so we're going to go 0. Let's go 0, 4, 0. Start depth. We're going to go 0. We'll go 0, 6 with that. We'll hit OK. And now it should be fine. I'm not sure why I did that. And we're spinning a little bit. That's why. I think I got way too many things open. So let's go to the show simulation now and see what it does. And it should open up. And hopefully it's not as deep. There you go. Okay. A lot better. I'm right clicking and dragging that, by the way. That's how I get that to do that. 
and that I think looks good now what I would do is before you start carving this thing out stain your wood and that's really going to allow that to pop if you go with the darker stain that pine is really going to shine through with the H and the wreath and don't just do it on a regular piece of pine because it's not going to do anything you, you got to stain it you got to do something go with a darker stain a gray uh, walnut or I don't know something honey whatever but that's what you want to do you definitely want to stain that so let's go out of um, hide simulation so we got to do one more thing here we have to save two different paths for our carbide motion and the reason for that is we have one bit here we're gonna have to do a bit change and a different bit here right so we're not going to use the same bit for all of this we're going to use two so you can do whatever you want to do first I usually do um, the lettering first so what I'll do here is I will right click this and I will hit disable and what will happen is when I hit save G code it'll pop up and I can save you know path one and then I can save that into a file I can run those letters and then what I will do here is I will save the other one I will enable and then I will disable this and now all you have and I'll, I'll go to show simulation all you have is the wreath so you're gonna save that G code so you can call it path 2 and what happens is when the home or the H the M and then the E is done running then you can change your bit out it'll allow you to adjust and then you can run the second save G code the path 2 or whatever you name it and then that will do the wreath very simple but you're definitely going to have to do two bits on this because this wreath here is a little bit has a little bit more detail but that's basically how you do it just make sure that you stain your board and if I hit enable again if I hit show simulation that's exactly what it's gonna look like I think the letters are a little bit I don't even think they need to be that deep you can bring them up a little bit if you wanted to but now you can sell these you can give them to family members for Christmas or whatever you want to do it's just a very very easy simple cheap very cheap um, design and people really like them so I hope you like this video if you do don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more of these and we'll be back with more videos soon